Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I'm going to demonstrate how to create and delete document DB instant base clusters in AWS using AWS console. Also, we will see how to connect to the document DB from an EC2 instance. I have logged into my AWS account. First, let's create the EC2 instance from which we are going to access the document DB. Click EC2 launch instance launch instance so we will give the instance a name as ec2 to document db and the ami i am going to select as amazon linux and i am going to select the amazon linux to ami instance type i will leave it as t2 micro and we will create a new key pair click create so it has been successfully created so the VPC settings yes we will create a security group so I'll just click edit because I want do not want to give the name as a launch wizard 4 so I'll call it as EC2 to DB this is going to be my security group name I'm going to leave the remaining things as default then click launch instance the instance creation is pending while it is creating the instance let us create one more security group click security group create security group so this group name I'll give it as EC2 to document DB I'll add an inbound rule support is because this from this EC2 instance we should be able to access the document DB cluster so that will be running in the port 27017 we'll leave it as uh, custom and now we will select the security group which we created just now that EC2 to DB so we will be able to access only from the instances which is part of this security group click create security group so we have created one EC2 instance and two security groups okay so now let us go and see the instances so instance state is running but still the status check is not complete so let's wait till the status check is complete okay so in the meantime let us go and create the document db cluster click amazon document db click create so we are going to create instance based cluster so we'll give the cluster name as uh, okay demo cluster and this is just for the demo so i'm going to select the minimum version which is that medium and I'm going to have create a cluster only with one instance because this is just for the demo purpose right so we need to give a name so I'm going to give my name here then the password click show advanced settings right so here we need to select the VPC which we VPC security groups which we created which is the EC2 to document DB let's select that so we are not going to enable any performance insights remaining all I'm going to leave it as default but I'm going to disable this enable delete protection because as part of the demo I'm going to show you how to delete this cluster also then click create cluster so the cluster is now getting created 
so you can as expected it is going to show a, a recommendation because we have created a cluster just with only one instance so it is going to say uh, for better performance and availability add mo have more than one instance while the uh, document db cluster is getting created let us go and review the ec2 instance okay this instance is successfully running and the status check also passed now let's connect to this instance click connect so we are going to use the ec2 instance connect to connect to this instance click connect now we have successfully connected to this instance so now since we are going to access the document db from here so we need to install the mongo shell here so i am going to use this commands which is available as part of this document to do that copy so now we are going to do the install so now the installation is successful now let us go and review the document db the original cluster is available now but the primary instance is getting created while it is coming up let's go and review the configurations so in the connectivity and the security section you will get the information on how you will be able to connect to the document db instance and it also gives it information about the security groups and in the instances you will be able to see that information on the instance currently still it is getting created and in the configurations and status page you will be able to see that information about the cluster endpoint when it was created what is the reader endpoint right what is the status all these informations whereas there is a backup information all these information will be available here and in the monitoring section once the resource is available you will be able to see the various metrics so you will be able to see the events information here so you can see the event the db cluster created and here you will be able to see the maintenance and backup information and all these configurations can be modified by clicking this modify and you will be able to change those configurations Now the primary instance also has been created successfully. Okay, so now let us try and connect to this document DB instance from the EC2 instance which we created. So for that, first we need to download the Amazon document DB certificate. Let's copy this. Let's go to the EC2 connect. So we have copied it. Now let us try and connect to this instance from the Mongo shell. Let's copy this, paste the command, click enter, provide the password. So now we have successfully connected to this document DB instance. Now I am going to create a student collection DB dot student hit insert. have a student ID I'll do the value as 100 then I'm going to have the name of the student which I'll give it as John then I'm going to give the age of the student 18 then I'm going to give the grade of the student So now we have successfully created a student collection as well as we have inserted one record into that collection. Now let us read that record from that collection.
so we could see the data what we entered so we were able to retrieve the information what we entered into this collection now we have seen how to create a document db instance based cluster and how to access the document db from an ec2 instance now let us see how to delete the document db cluster which we created go to the document db instances select the demo cluster then go to actions then click delete so since this is just the cluster we created for the demo purpose so we don't want to create any snapshot so click say no acknowledge and then enter the phrase delete enter cluster then click delete the first the primary instance is getting deleted the cluster demo cluster has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create a document db instant based cluster and how to access the cluster from an ec2 instance also we have seen how to delete the document db cluster which we created if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo